today on another exciting episode of walkthroughs of Jesse Venbro games that nobody has ever heard of. We are going to be playing Mar. Whoops. We are going to be playing Maru. Maru is one of the first games that Venbro made that involves gravity manipulation. Think Super Mario Galaxy for those who have played it. Uh, it's not the first though. This game has, like Pazza, and this game has a very interpretive storyline. Except, this one doesn't even have a basis of anything. Whereas Pazon had some kind of basis of religion, this doesn't even have anything. We see these little eyes in what appears to be dark space. They wind up being creatures. Said creatures split off onto a bunch of different planets. One of them doesn't. That's the storyline. The camera zooms in on this creature, and the game starts. Jesse Vembro is a very, very good game designer it's free freeware games are amazing like that but th these ones this these ones have the potential to top them all except cave store cave store rolls you play as the enigmatic maru at least i think and this is what i mean when i say gravity manipulation vembro has a few games like this and some of them can be pretty tough, including this one. The last level in this game can actually be hard. The, the thing about this game is that it wind Ultimately, that thing I just collected was an extra life. Ultimately, you beat this game with no lives remaining. And the music is incredible, by the way. Obviously, the spikes kill you. So let's not touch those. At least not yet. Oop. Yeah, there's only seven levels, eight if you count that beginning tutorial level. But right now our goal is to collect the uh, those little lot those little extra lives and then finish the level without dying. Well, you can die without getting a game over, I suppose. Obviously, you don't want that. Level four, we're already over halfway through this game. Vembro doesn't specialize in making long games. He doesn't need to. His games are incredible anyway. So for now, we just continue jumping along these little planetoid things, whatever they are. I'm not really sure what the hell anything is in this game. Very cryptic game, this one. Maru also appears in at least one other Vembro game. Uh, that I may or may not do a walkthrough of. That one actually is hard. Very hard. I'm, and it's also quite long. I'm not sure if I'll do a walkthrough if they need to be fed. But who knows, I might one day. Level 6. This is the one of the hard... This is the one of the two hard levels. 6 and 7 are the hard levels. First off, you have this. This part. And scattered around this area are at least one of the live things that you need to get, because you have to get those. There it is. Oh, don't hit the spikes. There we go. Uh, ah! Let's hit that again. Then these things come up. Now, the only way to get these things to open is to die, which spawns one of those little white things. These guys then go over and generate another Maru. We then have to go over and collect that little light orb thing. And it is that light orb... Well, it doesn't matter, I need three of them. And it is that light orb thing that opens the, uh... That giant mouth thing. Yes, I refer to everything as thing in this game because nothing has a name. And I don't know what the heck they're supposed to be. I don't know if that thing is supposed to be a mouth or a portal or what. So... I just call it by what it looks. Very close to that spike. Observe. Boom. Boom. Level completed. The final level, actually this level is quite tough. Because you wind up getting down, see that it, now that, obviously, you need three of the, uh, orb things, so the only way to get those is to die. Problem is, 
you have to be very careful when dying here because you need to sacrifice all of your uh, little floating Maru guys. Continually go through. Whoa! Continually go through here. Easy does it. We then have our final Maru. Now, if I die with this guy, I lose. So I really don't want to die here. What you just want to do is collect the three light things, feed them to the big king mouth guy. Two, one, zero, one Maru. Yes, you have to get eaten. He vaporizes. And the game instantly loops back to how it was. And that's... That's Maru. If anybody wants to throw in an interpretation of this game's storyline, feel free. I don't think Vembro himself even knows that. So, up next, Kuroshi.